Look who? The girl next door, you know? Uh, nah. I don't know what to do. So it wasn't you. All right. Honey came in and she told me red and this creepy with the girl next door. Picture this, we were both butt naked, banging on the bathroom door. How could I forget that I had given her an issue? Funny if when I did It Wasn't Me, we wrote that record and our manager didn't like it. And uh, so I, I decided to give the record away because I felt that it was such a massive hit record. You know what I mean? I ended up voicing Rayvon on it. We voiced Notch from The Born American. We voiced uh, Wayne Wanda. You know, uh, a lot of people was just trying to give this record away. And we had an a and a new a and was given to us by the name of Hans, some German, white German guy. And he walked in the studio and my producer and I, Sting, we just playing him a bunch of wrecks and we say, yeah, we got this joint and nobody's feeling, you know, what, and he, we played and he was like, dude, I'm just a white guy here, but that's a hit. And we just looked at each other and was like, Phew. and then that's how we ended up finishing it. And it was one of those records that once, once it happened, it just kind of went really, really fast. Everybody jumped there. I remember in Hawaii, it was, it was like, you know, after five plays, they got call out. It was like number one call out. Everybody was just flooding the lines with it. So it was just one of those joints that really resonated with people. I think with Angel, it was a little bit, I think I was in South Africa when that happened, uh, when it was number one and everyone was just going up because we were doing the European side of things. So I, I didn't feel that energy and that magnitude of madness that was coming off Angel because I was just on the other side of the world just really promoting it wasn't me at that time. Funny enough, I think every record that, we, that, that we've had that is a massive record, our problem is convincing others that it's special, you know, uh, the corporate side of things, you know, whether it be management, whether it be um, the, rec the label. We who make the record, like myself and my producer and, and the people who work on the record, you know that we have something special.